trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Well, hello everybody. It's Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We have another great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But before we get into that, don't forget there's that subscribe button and the bell. Just click both of those and anytime a new uh, episode comes your way, you'll be notified. You can check that out. And uh, you're welcome to leave a comment on the comment section here on YouTube. So, hope you'll do that. And if you want to uh, follow us on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And obviously you can inbox us and leave a comment on all the videos you see there. And you can email me at palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And it's good if you're a band or a solo artist and, and inquiring about if you want to be on the show. But if you're simply a fan as well, uh, we love fan mail. And uh, we'll respond to you. Uh, and uh, all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. From Nashville, Tennessee today, we have John Heinrich. He's a very awesome artist, and I think you all are going to agree with that. And we'll get to that uh, in just a second, and it starts right now. Uh -huh. All right, we're back, and with us from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee, excuse me, we have John Heinrich. Thanks for joining us, John. Yeah, thanks for asking me to be on your show here. Yeah, no problem. And uh, we want to thank John, uh, Georgia Paris, who was on our show recently. She was the one who recommended him. And, uh, well, tell us, uh, first of all, how you got started in, in the music business. As you know, everyone has their own story. We'd like to hear your story. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I was, I had just, I did one, like one year of college and I, I really did. I didn't like that so much. And I thought, well, if I'm going to go into to music, I'm going to have to do it as a, as a fanatic. And that's when I really started. I mean, I was playing in groups before that I was playing bass. That was my first instrument. But then after I started playing pedal steel, I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, it's, it's all in or, or nothing. <laughs> That's how I, pretty much how I got into it. And, and it's, it's just been good to me, to tell you the truth. I mean, I haven't hardly had any times that I can think of where I, I needed or wanted for money or, or whatever. I mean, I, I've always just gone after it, gone after my, my career, you know. Hmm. Well, that's quite a story there, and uh, I'm glad you chose uh, being an artist, and uh, hope you have a few more years left in you. Well, I guess we'll see, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> few more. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so who were some of the artists you grew up with that influenced you in your uh, in your music? Uh, well, of course, the Beatles. I mean, that was it. That was the first one. Um, Charlie Parker on saxophone, uh, David Sanborn on saxophone. Uh, Ronnie Laws on saxophone. As far as steel guitar goes, it would be uh, Pete Drake, uh, Buddy Charlton, of course, and Buddy Emmons, uh, Lloyd Green, all those guys from that era. I listened to all those guys. Uh, uh, for flute, when I was over in Europe, I picked up flute. I, I think I just, I didn't have anybody particular in mind. I just, it was a lot of classical music and I just really liked that a lot. So I picked one up at a music store there and that's when I started learning flute. Uh, clarinet, that's, that pretty much comes along with saxophone. Uh, and there again, I mean, I didn't have anybody particular that I was listening to, uh, but <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is I'm really working hard on, on uh, oboe and English horn, which English horn is an alto oboe. That's what that is. But the song that made me really want to start playing uh, oboe, that was, uh, what was that called? It was a Karen Carpenter song uh, long ago. And it was uh, oh, Superstar, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> superstar, yeah. <laughs> that starts off with an oboe. And, and I heard that. I thought, oh, wow. But I'll tell you, once I got into playing a lot, and, of course, I'm, I'm practicing a lot, and I'm, I'm playing with an orchestra right now, uh, uh, community orchestra, not a, not a you know not not when we get paid. This is just a, a matter of love. But I, I hear oboe all over everything on TV. I hear it everywhere and, and English horn. <laughs> I just love it though. But that's where I'm going right now. I mean, I'll always play pedal steel and I'll always play saxophone. 
In fact, I'm just getting ready to come out with another saxophone project. And, and I need to send you, by the way, Paul, I'll, I'll send you what I've got right now. Because you might have a party at your house and you might want to get them out and put one of my CDs in. <laughs> <laughs> tell them this goes on for two hours. <laughs> You know, until someone pays me to stop, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's a niche. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but those that's a great uh, influence there, the Beatles. I mean, uh, you know, there, there isn't one person that probably isn't influenced by them. So, and, uh, well, especially in my age group, you know. Yeah, they're, they're definitely legends. And, uh, um well, tell us how we can find your music. Uh, if anybody's watching this right now, they may want to go on all those streaming platforms or on social media and hear your stuff. Uh, tell us where we can find you. Well, you just have to basically put my, I'll, I'll tell you what my website is, but first I'll tell you, you just have to put my name in the browser. I've got, I don't know, I've forgotten how many platforms I'm on right now. Uh, of course, I'm on Facebook and, and Instagram and all the major ones, the tw Twitter, all those, all the major uh, platforms. But if you put my name in there, <laughs> it'll come up quite a few times. My website, my personal website is johnheinrich.com. And that was that is J-O-H-N-H-E-I-N-R-I-C-H.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should be able to find it on all your streaming platforms, you know, like uh, iTunes and Amazon and so forth. <laughs> Well, I haven't gotten on Amazon yet. I'm on Spotify as far as that goes, but I will get on Amazon and I will get on all, all those uh, platforms as well. Okay. Well, everybody go out there and download his music on Spotify. I know he would fall in love with you for that. And uh, we're getting ready to watch this music video in a minute, Leap Into the Storm of Time. Uh, is there a story behind that? We'd love to hear it. Uh, that came about as kind of a, a mishmash of, of different different things that happened probably more in the late 60s mm -hmm. and of course I wanted to I wanted to write a song that was just positive it had a positive message to it uh three faces uh truth uh, what well, I have to, I'd have to look at the uh <laughs> it again but <laughs> it's got three different themes to it and, and I, I just wanted to write something in that vein and I just came up with that it was a lot of imagery too you know Mm -hmm. A lot of imagery in it, but but I'm real happy with the way it came out, and the guys that played on it are just awesome. Of course, I've got all them listed in the uh, YouTube video and everything. But yeah. Okay. Well, it, it is a great song, and uh, I know everybody is excited about getting into it, so we'll get into that in just one second. But before we do, uh, I think that's about all the time we have right now, John. Thank you so much for being on the show. If you ever want to come back for uh, uh, to plug something new, uh, let us know, and we'll have you back on sometime. I appreciate it, Paul. I definitely have stuff, and I and well, I definitely will be, be talking to you. Okay. All right, here it is, Leap Into the Storm of Time by John Heinrich, and that starts right now. Crash up. 
Yeah.